Welcome back to another day in Belgium. We are still in Brussels and it's gonna be a hot one today. It's gonna be over a hundred degrees. <laughs> so we thought we should probably find somewhere that's hopefully air conditioned. So what you have behind me is Train World. Train World looks like an amazing train museum. They have a special exhibit on royal trains. We're gonna go find out whether it's worth your time if you're here in Brussels. Let's go check it out. One of the reasons we wanted to come see this rail museum was that train travel really makes Europe work as a tourist. And especially this part, you can go pretty much anywhere in France, the Netherlands, or Belgium, and you don't need a car, it's amazing. The train museum here is actually built into an old railway station. It's been decommissioned, but you can see behind me the new station, and there's just constantly trains going by doing what trains do. Let's go explore the museum and understand more about the history and more about how the train systems work here in Belgium. The museum is divided into three main areas, steam, diesel electric, and the Royal Train Exhibit. As you make your way through the museum, there's an audio guide you can use on your phone to tell you more, and I mean a lot more, about all the things that you see. The entire museum is incredibly interactive, and you can step inside many of the locomotives and train cars. Honestly, doing this is the only way to really appreciate the engineering and the sheer size of the engines. In the steam room, you can learn how rail construction works. And even try your hand at being a train engineer. I don't know what he thought he was doing either. You can make the train horn blow, but we didn't see any of their cool hats around to try on. The first hall was really dark, so we weren't able to say anything, but in it we learned that Brussels was the first capital in the entire world to be connected by train. I had no idea that Brussels had that rich of a train history, which is really neat. And actually Belgium had the first national train system in all of Europe, maybe in all of the world. And dignitaries from other countries used to come here to understand how it worked. And pretty much it spread from there. Really neat to learn a lot more about the history of Belgium and trains. Also, did you know that before the train system came along, there was no need for synchronized clocks. So starting with the steam engine era, it drove all these requirements and systems to synchronize clocks so that you knew what time your train was gonna come. Neat. One of the museum's showpieces is this green engine, the Type 12 Atlantic, built right here in Belgium and designed to quickly carry passengers between Brussels and the port city of Ostend. Only six of them were ever produced. In 1939, it set the world record for speed of a commercial service steam engine when it went from Brussels to Ostend in just 57 minutes. Unfortunately, the record was only held for a few months before it was broken by an American train company. That's Bill for Stout. In the 1930s, when steam engines gave way to diesel and electric, you ended up with trains that were one single car long. This is a diesel train, and the entire train is just this one car. That's it. Past the point of no return, baby, on the summer night. Shy love and the sparkle left to be. 
line and the month I'm not burned like a dried out leaf. I will leave it on the next train, baby. I do believe. Come on, let's ride this train. train cars date back to the early 1900s and they're sort of like the Air Force One of trains. The interior is super luxurious and would have been a great way for the kings of Belgium to travel. Is a pedal like a car? Sorry, control. What could go wrong? How fast do you think I should be going? Not only can you be an engineer, they also have train simulators and you can see if you can avoid crashing the train. We were grateful they were slow when we were there, so we could give it a try. <laughs> well, you didn't kill it. By the time you're done exploring the exhibits, you're probably pretty tired. On your way out, you can try a variety of first-class seats from all the major rail companies. See which one you like best. The engine you see behind me is a replica from 1835, and this is a fitting end to the museum. We've really enjoyed our time here, learning a lot about Belgium and their fantastic train history. And if you are having not the best weather, you want to break from some of the sightseeing, want to go to a museum, this is a great way to spend a few hours if you're in Brussels. All kinds of things to see, whether you're into new trains, old trains. We've also been to the Utrecht Museum in the Netherlands, and although this one wasn't as big, I would say some of the history stuff is actually a lot better, and is something we'd recommend. One point of note, their cafe is closed, so we're a little bit hungry and it's the middle of the afternoon. Time to go grab something to eat. Oh.